Hey everyone, when you talk about web development architecture or data science or artificial intelligence or internet of things or any terms or technologies related to IT, data plays a very important role there. To store and manipulate these data, we use two major languages or databases called as SQL and NoSQL. Now many freshers and students have a confusion between these two as both are used for same purpose which is to store and manipulate data. Keeping this fact in mind, we at Great Learning have come up with an idea to bring a comparison video on SQL versus NoSQL so that all your doubts will be cleared about these two famous languages or databases. So without wasting much time, let's begin with this video and understand what is the differences between SQL and NoSQL. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy, a free initiative by Great Learning. You can access over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on trending high demand domains absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion. Check out the link in the description of the video below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video, any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments. Now before we begin with the actual comparison, let's see what all topics we are going to cover in this particular video. So first we are going to introduce you to what is SQL and what is no SQL. And then we are going to jump and see what is the detailed comparison between these two languages or database. And at last we will come to a final conclusion that which one to use and when. So let's get started with the very first one which is introduction to SQL and no SQL. Now before the detailed comparison we have to have a basic understanding of what is SQL and no SQL. So when it comes to SQL, it is abbreviated as structured query language. It's a query language for storing, manipulating or retrieving data stored in a table structure. This particular statement is really very important to understand that it is storing all the data in a table structure, which is also called as RDBMS concept, nothing but relational database management system. But when it comes to no SQL, which is also abbreviated as not only SQL is the exact opposite of SQL. What is it? It provides a mechanism for storage and retrieval of data, but not in tabular format. That means not in relational database format. Then what it is? That is what we are going to see in the next topic. Now let's come back to our structured query language and let's understand in detail that how these data are stored here. So consider that we have a table which is named as employee and this is what the values it is storing. Now as you can see that it is having employee ID, name, gender, age and salary, right? Now if you look at the particular column which is the field, we call it as fields, right? Employee ID, name, gender, age and salary. When we come to the actual values, the actual data which we are storing, it is nothing but called as the records or nothing but the rows, right? Now these three terms or terminologies is very important in SQL, which are nothing but table, records and fields. So you need to remember this right now as I am showing you this table. Now let's jump to NoSQL and let's see what happens there. So in NoSQL, as you know that there'll be no table, then let's see what it is. So it looks something like this, which is also nothing but a JSON or a BSON format, right? So this is how the data is stored in NoSQL language or NoSQL databases, right? Now, how do we know that which one is stable here or what is the name of the table or what, is, what are the records here, right? So let's see. The first one is nothing but DB. Now DB is nothing but a database. Inside database, we can have large number or many number of tables, right? Now here the DB name which I have given is great learning, okay? The next is that inside that DB we have a table created which is not called as table here in NoSQL. It is called as collection in NoSQL. So what is table in SQL is nothing but a collection in NoSQL. I hope you get that. 
the next is nothing but the records right we have seen the records in our table in our sql right now let's see what is this record called as in nosql this is what is called as document so the fields and the records together combined is called as document in nosql right so i hope you got the basic comparison between sql and nosql practically right now let's move to the detailed comparison between sql versus nosql so the very first comparison between these two is nothing but the origin from where it got started right so sql was developed in the year 1970 with a focus on reducing data duplication as storage which was much more costlier than developer time so basically our main focus was to reduce the data duplication but nosql were developed in the late 2000 with a focus on scaling i'll again come back to this scaling part and then fast queries allowing for frequent application changes and making programmer simpler for developers right so this was the main task or the main origin for our both the databases the next comparison is nothing but database right which particular database is followed by sql and nosql sql databases are primarily called as rdbms as we have already discussed relational database management system but when it comes to nosql these databases are primarily called as non relational that means there is no relation between multiple tables or multiple documents when we talk about nosql right the next comparison is nothing but the type so sql databases are table based databases as we have already seen in the example but when it comes to nosql these are document based or we can say a key or value pair right you have seen the document how it was appearing or it can be also based on graph correct so this is what is the main comparison between these two the next comparison is nothing but based on schemas now in sql schemas are always rigid that means these are fixed you can't change it but in nosql it's very dynamic you can change the schemas however you want it the next comparison is nothing but on relation right data is having relations when you talk about sql language because there are multiple tables and we have several relations such as one to one one to many many to one many to many but when it comes to nosql there is no relation or very few relations which can happen right next comparison is nothing but distribution so in sql data is distributed across multiple tables as we have discussed in the previous concept right and in nosql data is typically merged or nested in a few collections right this is what is the comparison when we talk about the distribution the next comparison is on scaling now this is very important so basically in sql if you have a very large data then obviously you need a large server that means you need more power so basically in sql we have a vertically scalable thing that means we can scale the servers vertically but when it comes to no sql the scalability is done horizontally now what is the meaning of this vertically scalable and horizontally scalable vertically scalable means when you are having one server and you are just adding power to that particular server that is what is vertical scalable when it comes to horizontal scalable means that you are adding some more servers and not power we are directly adding the servers horizontally right i hope you have understood this particular point the next comparison is nothing but complex queries sql are best suited for complex queries that means bigger queries but when it comes to no sql it is not that much suitable with complex queries the next comparison is nothing but on performance obviously we should talk about performance as well so in sql it requires a specialized database hardware for better performance but in no sql it uses a commodity hardware always the next comparison and the last one is nothing but the examples we should know the all the databases which accept these languages right so in sql you can use mysql oracle sqlite postgre sql and ms sql as well in no sql we have mongodb the famous one and then big table redis raven db cassandra and etc right okay now we are in the final part and we have to see the final conclusion that which approach you should go for right but now see sql and no sql these are used for same purpose but these are not actually the same thing right 
their use depends on which background are you using these particular databases or languages right so there's no clear border both approach is used for different different cases we can't compare and tell that you can go for sql right or you can go for no sql but the students who are here to gain that knowledge so i've given you two pointers here as you can see sql is used to carry operations on rdbms so when you want to play with more tables with relation then you can go ahead with sql language when creating custom dashboards and when while executing complex queries when it comes to no sql it is used when the data needs a flexible schema as you have already seen in the comparison and when constraints validation logic are not essentially required right because in sql we have constraints so we can apply that but in no sql constraints are not there so in those cases you can use this no sql database so this was the whole short video on sql versus no sql i hope you got the whole comparison and now you are clear about both the databases or language thank you so much for watching the whole video have a great learning all the best bye bye I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy, a free initiative by Great Learning. You can access over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on trending high demand domains absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion. Check out the link in the description of the video below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments.